Russian EVA-39 will be conducted by Alexander Skortsov as EV-1 in the red stripe suit and Oleg Artemyev as EV-2 in the blue stripe suit. They will open the EVA hatch of Piers Docking Compartment 1 or DC-1. Oleg will be the first to exit DC-1. He will then take nanosatellite and deploy the nanosatellite from station. Alexander will then take a series of photos of the deployment. Alexander will then hand out Expose R or the Expose R Science Hardware. Alexander will then exit DC-1 with a tool bag. The two will translate on the service module or SM around the circumference to the Universal Work Platform. Here at the Universal Work Platform, they will install Expose R and take a series of photos of the installation. Once it's installed, they will take two cables from Expose R and install each of them onto the service module. And after the connections are made, they will take another series of photos of the connections. They will then translate to the automatic phased array antenna or a FAR unit. Here they will install a restraint clamp This will give more of a mechanical advantage over the clamp on the AFAR unit. The two will then translate to service module window number 13 and take a series of samples from the window. The two then translate back to DC-1 EVA ladder. They will retrieve the Plume Impingement Deposit Monitoring Unit, or Bakada O, along with Eskaka number two experiment cassette. They will then translate around the circumference of DC-1 to Strela 1's boom. The two will take the two new pieces of hardware up Strela 1's boom to MRM 2, or the mini research module number 2. Here they will install Bekada O onto MRM 2. They will take the connector from Bakara O and install that to MRM2. Then they will take a series of photos of the mated connector. They will open up protective covers on the end faces of Bakara O and again take photos of Bakara O. They will then take Eskaka experiment cassette and close it and retrieve Eskaka number one and install the new Eskaka cassette experiment that they brought out. They will take a series of photos of Eskaka number two after it's installed. The two then translate to panel 2A of Venoslavos space experiment and retrieve that panel. The two then head back to Strela 1's boom and down to DC-1 again. 
Alexander translates to the EVA ladder and stows SKK-1 and the Venuslavos panel number 2A inside DC-1, along with his tool bag. Oleg will translate to the opposite side of DC-1, where he will retrieve bio-risk experiment container number three. Once removed, he will translate back around to the EVA ladder Then Alexander will enter DC-1 first. Oleg will hand him BioRisk container number three, and Oleg will ingress DC-1 and close the hatch. This would conclude Russian EVA 39.